First question is from Wellner Wellness. Both my husband and I suffer from neck pain and find that bicep work, standard curls, and others aggravate this. What are some bicep workouts we can do? I love this question because this reminds me of the flack that I got on YouTube uh, in regards to my bicep curl video. Do you remember that? Oh, you do your split stance? Yeah, the split stance. Oh, they're giving shit about that. Yeah, the split stance and then teaching people to pull the shoulders back and then just coming up to full flexion and where your dumbbell is about to your, you know, right about your nipple line or so and not rotating up, which we know that, you know, full, full range of motion on the bicep requires a little bit uh, of that rolling up of the shoulder. The problem is that this is exactly what I came across with clients. Um, either one, they would uh, allow the shoulder to take over uh, a, a lot of the movement and they'd feel feel it less in their bicep, or it would even aggravate their shoulder uh, because they're in this kind of forward position and then they're moving and rocking up with the bicep curls and then teaching them a more strict form. Uh, one, help them feel it in the bicep more, and then two, eliminate things like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, okay, so... The big thing for me when I hear questions like this is is a reminder that just because an exercise works a particular body part, it does not mean that the rest of the body is not engaged uh, in some way, right. right? So a bicep curl, single joint exercise, you're bending the elbow, you're just working the biceps. Does this mean your core is not involved? Does this mean that your shoulder girdle doesn't have to be stabilized? Does it mean that your head and neck position aren't right. impo important to pay attention to? If you have a tendency towards neck pain, what a lot of people do with, with exercises is they either shrug their shoulders a lot with all exercises mm -hmm. or they look down or jut their head down, forward. Bring their head forward. They strain, you know, out of their neck muscles just by the, you know, grinding their way through the exercise. Yeah. So I would say keep your shoulders down, keep your head straight and tall, elongate, create some traction in your spine as you're doing your bicep exercise. The other thing I would say is work on your shoulder and upper back uh, mobility. Um, work on those areas because, you know, if your neck is preventing you from working your biceps, I mean, it's going to prevent you from doing a lot of things, especially exercises like squats and overhead presses and and deadlifts. So I would definitely work on uh, on mobility. Now there are also, of course, supplements that can help with pain and inflammation. Um, although I don't consider these things to be first lines of defense or or, or solutions, they can help. Um, and, and the way that they tend to benefit is they reduce inflammation, which then gets you to move better, which then re helps you reduce future pain. Because when you have some pain already there, sometimes we protect ourselves with certain positions, mm -hmm. which actually contribute to the pain over time. I, I know Organifi has got a great uh, natural anti-inflammatory supplement called Move. Um, in fact, it has astaxanthin in it. Uh, it Justin. has that in there. It does because of its anti-inflammatory yeah properties. It's got holy basil in there and other products as well. So you could take that and help reduce the inflammation, mm. but you got to fix your positioning and your mobility. Otherwise, this problem was going to stick yeah, around. Yeah, this was actually a common one I would get from clients mm -hmm. uh, doing bicep curls, uh, primarily like you had mentioned, the chin kind of tucking down. And like because they're trying to concentrate so hard on what their arms are doing and looking down at it, but also if it's a, you know, a, a heavy amount of weight where um, they're grinding their teeth and they're really squeezing and straining a bit in their face, uh, you know, the neck's not in a favorable position and then they're adding all this extra tension and stress in that area, they, they ended up getting these tension headaches as a result. If you haven't watched the YouTube video I did on bicep curls, I know it's one of the it's one of the top ten or top five videos that we've done as far as views. It's pretty easy to find on our uh, Mind Pump TV YouTube channel. Watch that if you want to take it to the next level. So this is where I love I would love to pull out my PVC pipe. So I would take th this person, I would put them in that splits. I would lighten the load, okay? Especially when we're talking about an isolation exercise. Yeah, you know, d pushing yourself towards the highest dumbbells you can curl. Uh, or yeah. easy curl. Yeah, nobody cares. N Nobody's yeah. bragging about that. <laughs> yeah, and not even just nobody cares, but the the you're not going to get that much more benefit by lifting ten more pounds than what you could in a in a bicep. You get better better results with more better form. Right. So you lighten the load. Uh, you know, watch that video, and then the even the next level to that, especially I think this person said they're working out with their husband, right? So there's two of them working out together. Mm -hmm. You take uh, the PVC pipe and you you put it behind uh, your partner's back, and you want the the back of their nodule of their head 
touching it. You want their their upper shoulder blades touching it, and then their low back by their hips touching. Those are the three points that you do not want to lose contact at all and then perform the movement like I teach it in the YouTube video that should eliminate a lot of the stress that you're feeling in the neck uh, and in the shoulders and again just focus on form so remember we've talked in in uh, the previous episodes about progressive overload you can do that by slowing the tempo down so lighter weight slow the tempo down control the exercise focus more on the bicep make sure you're keeping that spine nice and neutral that's what the pvc pipe is for um, that's why I like the split stance. You can also do that with a wall or a squat rack. Um, I do that sometimes with a squat rack, where I place instead of using a PVC pipe, I use uh, one of the you know the one of the bars from the the squat rack, um, and I'll put that in the middle of my back, or I'll put my back up against the wall. Put your back up against the wall. Keep your shoulder blades, hips, tuck the chin, and tuck the chin, and in, and in, and put that the, the small nodule at the base of your skull against the wall. Keep them all in contact. And if you really want to make it strict, keep your elbows in contact with the wall and then do curls. I like would that. recommend that because part of sometimes with the shoulder aggravation is that last bit of flexion that happens in the shoulders right. engage and that might be aggravating it. 